Hello, fellow patriots. I'm Mrs. Betty Bowers, America's best Christian reporting live. Well, until they kill me. From Antifa, I've come here to the very home of socialism. Most foul, or is it communist? No, no, I think maybe it's fascist. Oh, who knows? I, who cares? The important thing is finding out how Antifa, a seemingly faceless organization, can, as Republicans in Congress and Cancun all know, be behind every single violent protest in America, truly. Antifa must have amazing organizational skills, skills that mercilessly evade those same Republicans. I may have to duck for cover at any moment, because friends, I am currently standing at the most dangerous place in America. Well, other than between an evangelical pastor and his collection plate. Yeah, or Ted Cruz in a photo op. Yes, I'm in front of Antifa's corporate headquarters in Midtown Manhattan. They have the whole skyscraper. Now, I know what you're thinking. I used to think Antifa lived rent-free in the minds of Republicans too, but no, they have a 92-story building with the Antifa corporate logo atop, screeching in bursts of LED for bloody, belligerent anarchy, which is hard to pull off in periwinkle. It's surprisingly lovely inside, all Lewis says and chintz, a counterintuitive choice to convey the simmering rage of seething resentment for the ruling class. I was just on the 57th floor, looking for the protests department, but was told that protests was on floors 72 to 81. As it turned out, 57 was the profane graffiti floor, and boy howdy, was it ever. Never has such artful aerosol been marshaled to spell the C word. You know the word I mean? A lower floor housed all the MAGA flags and let's pretend we're Trump supporters costumes. Many an empty wooden hanger clattered in testament to the costumes still not returned from the January 6th false Confederate flag op. The loud costumes left behind were lovingly bedazzled with authentic attention to detail. Always from TJ Maxx, and always several sizes too small. And fortunately for Antifa's budget, all the materials for each Trump fan costume can be purchased for the cost of a roll of mints. On every Antifa floor, I was expecting wooden boxes of hand grenades, but instead found lovely indigenous baskets of gluten-free yuzu muffins next to each fair trade espresso machine. Disappointed by the dearth of incriminatory IEDs, I indignantly strode into the lobby where I noticed that 100% of Antifa employees were still wearing masks. Such conformity struck me as odd for anarchists, I slammed my Lana Traviata purse on the desk to get the pumpkin seed munching receptionist's attention and to signal that finally a non vegan had entered the building. I then demanded to know Antifa's secret for orchestrating every protest that appears on Fox News. She seemed to smile slyly as she asked how I found out. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene told me on Twitter, I said, putting an end to any debate. She then suggested I talk to Antifa's VP of completely orchestrated, premeditated protests to get the color-coded schedule of upcoming riots, catered receptions, uprisings, and baby showers, but suspiciously, this very Antifa executive was at an Antifa corporate sales and 
Necktie Awards dinner event in Boca. The receptionist asked if I'd like a cocktail. Finally, proof of Antifa's terrorism. But instead of the cocktail being Molotov, it was a chilled champagne Bellini. Clearly, I was dealing with rather cagey terrorists playing a long and delicious game. As I left the building, someone spat the F word at me. Yes, fascist. Being the only adult, I was all like, I'm not a fascist, you're a fascist. <laughs> they started in with some smug nonsense about how anti-fascism was cleverly hidden in their corporate title with those very words. Libs use logic like pepper spray. But as a conservative Christian, I know that that logic is Satan's blow-up sex doll and his greatest weapon. After teaching Marco Rubio Bible verses, so I convincingly shut down that duplicitous talking point by yelling over them, well, Tucker Carlson said anti-fascists are fascists, so there. Unable to reply to such airtight logic, they rudely rolled their eyes and slid into the Antifa corporate branded car that was idling next to the sidewalk. As that sleek Mercedes pulled away, I was overcome with relief that I had not been killed by these logic-obsessed, anti-fascist, fascist terrorists. I was also overcome with a craving for another of Antifa's yummy champagne beverages. So I'm returning back to the dangerous enemy battlefield. Just for you, patriots. Pray for my safety in the hands of these remorseless hoodlums. Fabulous hosts. Antifa. Glory. Debout les armées de la terre, debout les forces de la fin, la raison.